All right, here is number 18, as you requested. Let's talk about how to set this up. So I'm looking here at this triangle. It has two angles here that are equal. Whoop, sorry, Joey, be careful, please. Mommy's trying to make her video. Um, these two angles are both equal, which means this is an angle bisector theorem um, proportionality problem. So in your similarity section in your notebook, you will see one of your pages, probably the, one of the last ones we did, is about angle bisector theorem. Um, so what that basically tells us, let me get some colors here, is that our triangle is split into proportions, but based on... Is it on? Is it on? Joey, shh. Um, this side that's 14, if I make a proportion out of that in this side, that's a seven, I'm going to make a fraction out of those two. And that's going to be in the same proportion. I'm going to help. No, I got it, Joey. Um, as this side that's six I'm gonna help. and this little side that we have nothing for. I'm going to help. Yeah, Joey, you can help by doing this. Here. Ready? Here. Here. On here. So, um, that being said, we basically need that little short blue one, that little short blue side. We need to write something there because we don't have anything to write there uh, in our proportion. This x plus 6 helps us because it's the whole thing, but it's not going to help us in our proportion. So, our proportion is going to be 6 over the thing I don't know yet um, equals 14 over 7. I've got to solve for x, so i got to figure out what this x is. Um, so I need to write this thing in terms of x. I know if I knew the number, the total, say the total is 20, I would do 20 minus 7 and get 13. But I don't know the total. I know the total is x plus 6. So I need to do x plus 6 minus 7. Because I need to subtract the 7 from this total here. Joey, watch your feet. I need a new one. Um, you got to go upstairs and get one because I'm, I'm using this one. Um, so, if I do x plus 6 minus 7, it's really just positive 6 minus 7, which is negative 1. So, it's x minus 1. And that is what I can write here on this little part. So, I can put x minus 1 in this spot on the proportion. So, it's blue over blue equals pink over pink. Um, side over the split side and the other side over the other split side. Okay, so from here you should be able to cross multiply. I'm going to get you started just in case. Um, 6 times 7 is 42. And then on the other side I have to do 14 times x minus 1. I'm writing it that way because I'm going to have to multiply the 14 times the x and get 14x. But I'm also going to have to do the 14 times the negative 1 and get minus 14. So you should be able to finish it up from there. Uh, if you can't, let me know and I can go further and finish it for you. Alright, so the other question that you asked about... Sorry, I was bumping my camera. Um, is number 21. And that this is a little bit harder because this is a surface area volume question. So we need to know, uh, basically we need to be able to figure out from the information given to us what our scale factor is, which is A over B, right? We know the scale factor for surface area. So I'm going to say scale factor for surface area. No, Joey, not on this paper, please. Um, is going to be a squared over b squared. The surface area, I mean, the scale factor for volume is going to be a to the third over b to the third, and that's on that like cute little foldy thing. It might be purple. It has like scale factor and a uh, uh, volume and surface area on it, as with some word problems. Um, so that this is basically how the scale factors change as you go from one dimension to two dimensions to three dimensions. Do not draw in there. You will get in trouble if you do that. All right. Um, so we need to look at the two solids that we have and the information that they gave us. Joseph, stop. Sorry, he's being really annoying. Um, and we need to say, well, obviously this one's the smaller one because the other surface area is 36 and then this one in the surface area is 441. This is our smaller solid, which means the volume we're looking for is going to be smaller than this number. Okay. Um, here, Joe, you can draw on this one. And what we need to do is figure out what the scale factor is, this A over B, for these. We're going to use the two surface areas that we have to do that. So remember our surface area scale factor is A squared over B squared. Well, I'm going to make, I'm going to put these two surface areas in a fraction. So I'm just going to do smaller over larger. No particular reason. You could do it the other way. That would be okay. Um, but I need to reduce this 
to find the scale factor. Okay, so in your calculator, you do 36 divided by 44, math enter, enter. If you don't have a graphing calculator, you got to think about what divides into them. Um, I know that 36 can be divided by 9. I check to see if this one can be divided by 9. When I do that, I end up with 4 over 49. And so this is our surface area scale factor. So that means 4 over 49 is our A squared over B squared. But I need A over B so that I can figure out the volume scale factor. So in order to figure out what A is from A squared, I have to square root it. So square root of 4 over the square root of 49 is going to tell me what A over B is. He's coming down. He's coming down. Nobody's coming down. Square root of 4 is 2. He's coming down. And the square root of 49 is 7. So my scale factor is 2 over 7. I can square that again to get the scale factor for surface area, but I really need the volume scale factor because I have one volume and I need to find the other volume. So now that I know a, the scale factor is 2 over 7, Joseph, stop. Um, to find the volume, I'm going to need to do 2 to the 3rd over 7 to the 3rd. I know I scared you, but you need to stop because I'm trying to make my video. Can you color right here, please? Um, let me move that up for you. Okay. So this scale factor for volume says if I do two to the third over seven to the third, I can make that equal to my volumes. I'm going to put the smaller volume over the larger volume because I have the smaller number on top. So I don't know the smaller volume. That's my X. Remember, I don't know this one, but I know my larger volume is 5488. Joey, put the covers on and stop. Okay. Um, so I need to actually take the number to the third power before I can do my cross multiplying. So 2 times 2 times 2 is 8. And 7 times 7 times 7 is... 7 times... I wrote it down. 343. Uh-oh. So that's going to be equal to... X... Over there, Joe. Over 5,488. And then you can cross multiply 343 times x, 8 times 5488, and then solve for x. Okay, so the key here was first use the surface areas in a fraction, reduce the fraction to know what my to know what my a squared over b squared is, then square root them to figure my a over b, then use my a over b. Okay, hold on. Use my a over b to find my volume by cubing it. So hopefully that helps. Let me know if you have any more questions and good luck.